And you know, what about the people who don't really get into emotions that um, tend to feel pretty good about themselves and then they, they do the projection thing, usually the blame is out there. When you get a bit older, you realise you have to do that. But I still don't go, I'm not a, I wouldn't classify myself as a, an emotional person. It goes there, I don't quite get that where you've been and... and God created you as an emotional person. So if I'm not an emotional person, this applies to all that's, of us. That's the judgment. Then, then there's there's reasons why I'm not exactly. Yes. So there's a lot of judgment against being emotional. Maybe you know I, I can feel some of your parents' judgments about being emotional. Oh, certainly. And and you know there was quite a lot of negative projection at you about emotions generally uh, as you were growing up and all through your life, in fact. And so what we tend have a tendency then to do is absorb all those beliefs into us. And the truth is you'll have to unlearn those beliefs. You will need to go through this process of breaking down your judgments about the emotion. When you do that, your emotion will start flowing automatically. You won't have to make it flow, it will flow automatically. The negative is... Any emotion, positive or negative, will flow automatically. Because the love is not a problem. And the positive emotion... Well, that's not strictly true. Because you see, you can't fully experience love unless you can fully experience all of your emotion. So the truth is, at the moment, although you feel that you can experience love easily, you are actually limited in the way you're experiencing love because of this shutdown of the other emotion. Your soul is not capable of actually discriminating. You look at a child. A child does not discriminate between loving emotions and unloving emotions. It just feels them. Right? And it fills them to its full power. Now at the moment, you're not allowing your love to be experienced in its full power because of some of the other emotions that are there. Is that, does that make sense? I know you're going to probably disagree with me. But the truth is, you will never experience love in its full power without actually having no judgment of any emotion. 